Hey guys, Kairo City here with another Yokai Mail unboxing. This time I'm going to be opening up my second box of Yokai Mail USA K01 packs. So, uh, once again, this is a case where I, of course, didn't get all the medals in this set last time, so I'm going to be opening up a second box here. And unlike the previous video, I'm hoping to have some better luck and actually get some new medals this time. So, once again, I'm going to bring open or bring in my Yokai Mystery File. Just show you guys what medals I did get from that set. You can see there are some gaps here in the collection. We're just going to ignore these three spaces as these are medals that are obtained in special ways and not in the actual uh, packs themselves. But uh, as you can see, I am missing one, two, three, four. Five medals from the set, so let's see if I can get any of them within this box. Just uh, snip the tape here. You can open this up and get started on our packs. So, starting with pack one, we've got a Manjiru and Gikun. Okay. Pack number two, we've got Demonade and Komasan Jack. All right. So that's a new medal for me. So already, better luck than last time. Next we have pack number three, where we have Damager and Kariaburi. That's another new one. Okay. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. Alright, Unbelievable and Kibando. So those are both duplicates. That's pack four. Next is pack five. We got, oh, nice. These are both new. We have Non-Skunk, which is a metal I don't have, and then we have the variant version of Robonyon USA, who is possessed by Sunday Papa. And that was actually something that somebody pointed me out, is that the Melum Lion, or the Pelipa Lion, variant metal was also possessed by Sunday Papa, so I guess that's kind of a theme with the variant metals in these packs. So, uh, next we have uh, pack number six, and we're halfway through. We have another Kariabri and Gikun. Okay. That is Pelopian and Nunskunk. Number seven, and we have a Manjiru and Unbelievable. Pack number eight. We've got ooh another one, another new one, Brookurin. Then E Balloon. All right. Uh, just one sec. Sorry about that cut, I had to answer the door a quick sec, and I actually miscounted, and that was actually pack 9 that I just opened, so next is pack 10, we're almost through. Let's see if I can get that last one I need for the set. So we have Oki Raccoon and Damager. Alright, so next is pack 11. We've got Hungry G and Karayabri. Okay, okay. Here's the last pack. And we have. Yes! 
Country Baba, and Okira Kun. And so with that, I believe that means I've completed my collection. So I'll open up the new medals and show them off in the Yokai Watch G1. So here we have the five new medals from the pack. First up is Komasan Jack, a Purichi tribe yokai, which is Komasan dressed up as the Jack playing card. So here's his sound. Next is Nan Skunk, a, another preachy tribe yokai who is a skunk with a bad attitude. And it'll ask you what, as it says here. Next up is Brookgrin, a street punk gremlin who likes doing graffiti and is the American counterpart to Grerin, aka Rough Raff. Of course, he's a Goketz tribe yokai. Next up is Country Baba, a sweet old lady who likes to bake sweets, and is the American counterpart to Bakuroba, aka Tal Tal. And she is a Poka Poka tribe yokai. And finally, we have Karayaburi, a strange egg-shaped yokai, who, when broken open, reveals another smaller version of itself inside, kind of like those Russian second dolls, and is a Fushigi tribe yokai. And there we go. So this time I definitely had a lot better luck than with that previous uh, unboxing video of the Yokai Mel Dream Packs. Not only was I able to get the five remaining Mel's I needed for my collection, but I also got another variant Mel, this time Robin in USA. And these are always fun to get because they usually don't list these on the official website. So their little surprises are kind of easter eggs to find within these packs. So even though the way the Yoga Mel Dream packs are being distributed and the Dream Mel's are being put in the packs is not really the best or the most well made, it does certainly seem like the regular Mel's are definitely being more randomly distributed, which is good. So, if you are collecting the Japanese Mel's and are, you know, collecting these new American Mel's, rest assured it won't take you too long to get them all if I'm to be of any example. And I'm definitely glad that I was able to get some luck out of it. So, next time I'll be doing another episode of Toku Toy Theory, where I'll be looking at Conrad Bravo and Conrad Knuckle. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and or subscribe. And you can check me on Facebook at facebook.com slash krx50. And for now, this is krx50, riding off.